Some useful tips when creating user groups on your 48 command line. Coming up. All right, so let's create some users using the graphical user interface, and then we will move to the command line. So let's move to user and authentication, user definition, create new local users, and let's just use um, user one uh, with the password, and let's move on. We will not use two-factor authentication. We will not associate him. Um, with uh, a user group, let's create another user, user2, and add up a password, all right, and a third user, which we will name user3, all right. All right, so we have three users. Now let's move to our command line. Let's just, all right, let's config user group. Let's edit it and name it. Let's name it. Let's name it users. All right, so the very first thing that we will do is to set the new members. Now we have uh, user 1, we have user 2, and we have user 3, alright, so if we will use the, um, the new user group that we have just created, we can see that we have 3 members. Alright, now let's add up a new member to our group, so let's create another um, user, so let's just do that. Let's name it user4, password, and there we have it. Let's move to our command line, config user group. Let's edit our group. Now, to add up the new member, we will not use the set member. We will use the append member, so let's use that and let's add up the fourth user so let's just end that and show user group users and here we have all four users now the last command is to unset a specific member to unset members or to set the group type or the authentication timeout, you will again use the config user group, edit the group itself, and from here you can set group type, you can set authentication timeout, you can set concurrent override, you can set a member or you can unset a member if you want to get a member or several members from that group.